more about the level of interest in medical marijuana right here in Missouri. The industry reports record sales in August. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live with why some say the sales are only going to continue to grow. Jeff. Uh, good evening, Vic. Here in Missouri, sales at dispensaries like this one in Crestwood, 4% of them go to the state to support services for military veterans. Well, today the state announced $6.8 million is headed to the Missouri Veterans Commission. According to the Missouri Medical Cannabis Trade Association, August was a record-breaking month for medical cannabis sales in Missouri with more than $21 million in sales. What we've seen is more patients coming in more patients trying to seek cannabis as an alternative treatment for conditions that availed them for sometimes years and decades. Captiva Healing in Crestwood is a locally owned dispensary that donates to local charities. The owners also feel good about the industry generating $6.8 million for Missouri's veterans. This is one of the main goals that we set out to accomplish when the medical marijuana program was passed. Missouri Wild Alchemy is also locally owned with two locations in St. Charles County. One of the reasons that we wanted to get into this industry is we knew it can be very helpful. One of the owners is also a first responder. The business donates to a fund helping Gold Star families and is pleased with how the industry has found its niche. And I think it's just great that there's so much um, support for cannabis in the state of Missouri and there's a lot of funds going to help veterans right now so it's just wonderful. The state reports that since dispensary sales began in October 2020 more than 113 million dollars in sales have occurred. Operators expect business to continue to grow as patients learn more about the variety of products available and how they can be used for certain medical conditions. There's definitely a strong demand. There's a lot more favorability than, than we had even thought. And for, and for me, being a first responder, it was always kind of like something that people didn't talk about and they turned to alcohol and opiates. But I think to the Missouri Medical Cannabis Trade Association, they expect sales to approach or even exceed $200 million by the end of the year. Reporting live from Crestwood, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.